What's going on, everyone? John from Hobbyist PCs here. Hope you like the new camera angle. Brand new camera. Looks great, in my opinion, at least. This introductory video is going to be talking about the new series I'm going to be doing on the channel. The series is going to be aimed at teaching streamers, especially new streamers, how to get a grasp with the different audio settings within OBS so that you can try to achieve the audio sound that you're looking for on your stream. When it comes to audio, it's one of those areas that I tend to see get overlooked a lot of the time on streams. I also see a lot of people that tend to focus a lot on the video side of things and focus more on getting a good video quality as opposed to just getting their audio right from the get-go. A lot of times I'll see people who have their game audio too quiet or they're too quiet, which is terrible. You don't want to be too quiet. People who have mic clipping issues, people who don't know how to set the volume on their alerts. The list goes on, but in general, there are a lot of people who tend to neglect this area of their stream and don't realize how much it's actually harming their stream and viewer retention. Now listen, I'm not saying that having good audio means you're going to get a big view count. What I'm saying here is that for the viewers that you do currently have or the views that you're currently getting, you're more you're more likely to have them stick around if your audio is pleasant to listen to. It doesn't even have to be like top studio quality, it just has to be listenable. And for most people, they already have the equipment in place and the tools to actually make that happen. And a lot of them exist within OBS and Streamlabs OBS. So the idea behind this tutorial is to try to help you guys learn what those tools are, learn the ins and outs of the audio setup when it comes to Streamlabs OBS and OBS as well. Which by the way, when I talk about OBS, OBS Live is basically just an extension of OBS Studio. So OBS Live applies as well. And hopefully you'll be able to find the sound that you're looking for with your stream so that way you can present yourself the way that you want to present it to your audience. Now, if you guys are familiar with the way I do tutorials normally on hobbyist PCs, you'll know that my videos tend to be pretty granular, pretty long sometimes. This time, it's going to be a little different. One of my goals with these videos is to try to separate a lot of these topics into smaller, more digestible videos. This way, in case you happen to know something about a topic I'm discussing in that particular video, you can just go ahead and skip the video and move on to the next one. Everything's gonna be put on a playlist, so you can just go ahead and pick from the playlist. So expect a lot of the videos with this series to be a little more focused. As far as some of the things I'm gonna be going over, I'm gonna be going over some of your OBS settings, that way you can get familiar with the different settings within OBS, how the mixer works, things like Windows settings. I'm gonna teach you guys about the various different filters and plugins that you can use and how they work and how you can set things up to get the sound you're looking for. And I'm also gonna be talking about other various concepts with audio, so that way you can develop an even deeper understanding if you so wish to. When it comes to learning audio, there are a lot of advantages to learning the ins and outs of audio to actually achieve the sound that you're looking for. So hopefully by the end of this series, you'll have a better understanding of audio to the point where you will sound as amazing as you possibly could have ever expected. And that just about wraps up this intro, guys. I wanted to keep it short for you guys. If you guys want to stay up to date and to keep up with whatever is being released with this video series, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications, and you'll be notified anytime that I upload to the channel. I'll have links to my various social media pages down below if you would like to get in touch with me on social media or just get in touch with us on the Hobbyist PCs Discord, which is a great place to go as well. And if you have any more questions, of course, please be sure to comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.